Hello folks, welcome to BISPtrainings.com. My name is Amit and today I'm going to show you one of the one nice example about what if analysis in Cogno Report Studio. So we'll see the case study called what if analysis. I'll show you how to do this step by step. Let's start understanding what is the requirement. So my requirement is like this. This is our report sheet where we have we need to calculate expenses. I have one of the dimension called product name, VAT, order processing cost, shipping cost and total cost. Total cost is in turn sum of these three members. Now what we need to find out over here, we need to perform a shipping cost what if analysis. What if the shipping cost is increased by 10%? If shipping cost is increased by 10%, how, what will be my revised shipping cost? What will be my revised total cost? Sorry. If my shipping cost increased by 10%, what would be my revised total cost? How much total will be increased? So we would like to find out the variance between my new total cost and existing total cost. Variance between new total cost and existing total cost. It means revised total cost and existing total cost. And what is the variance percentage? How much value has been increased from total cost to revised total cost as a result of 10% increase, increase of my shipping cost? To make it easy to understand, let's take a requirement in Excel sheet. Before we put it into our uh, report section, let's do it in Excel. So this is my requirement. I've taken a couple of product over here. Product name, VAT, order processing cost, shipping cost, total cost. First I see revised, revised shipping cost. A revised shipping cost in 10% more than the actual cost. So what I do, I'll take this value, I'll get a simple mathematical function over here and I'll take 110%, right, it's a 10%, it's 10% more than my actual cost. This is revised total, revised shipping cost. Now see what is my revised total cost. Revised total cost would in turn be sum of VAT plus order processing cost plus revised shipping cost. This is this is my new revised total cost. Right? I like to see the variance. Variance between my total cost and revised total cost. So I look at variance. So I see my total cost increased by this minus this. And total cost increased by 5. Right? And in terms of percentage, it is variance percent I say variance percentage would be variance variance divided by total cost into 100. This is what I see. I see my cost has been increased by 2.38%. I'll change the format over here, number format, and make it two number of decimal values, two decimal places. This is my variance. So I see my total cost has been increased by 2.38 percentage as a result of 10 percent increase in my shipping cost. This kind of analysis I like to do in my uh, report studio. Let's do it. So we, I already published a model over here. I like to show you the model first. This is my model. I prepare a separate business model. I talk. I call this ad hoc analysis. Let's try to understand about this model. So this is my ad hoc analysis model. Okay, I've taken only uh, from my physical model. This is my physical model over here. I create my query subject from my physical model, right? And to bring data from my product and sales, this is my business model. On top of which I'm going to do analysis. And I already published a package over here. The package name is ad hoc analysis, right? Okay, let's build a query. I'll create a new query and uh, I'll use the list view okay. and in order to make it let's confine to our actual query so I need detail, detail about the product I'll take product category and I'll see the various costs associated with this and the shipping cost order processing cost and VAT right I'll add a new computer column over here uh, I'll add a new computer column 
which in turn we sum of them. There are multiple ways of doing it. One simple way, drag and drop once again this, change the label of it, this has become, I change the name of it, I call this total cost and it would be simple sum of, it would be simple sum of ABC. So I reckon go to expression, right click, go to edit query expression and sum all these elements. The sum of my VAT plus VAT plus order processing cost plus shipping cost. Okay, this is my total cost. Let's save this and run it first. I would call ad hoc analysis 1. You can run it and you can see over here total cost. Up to here it is absolutely fine. It's just, just a sum of my shipping cost, order processing cost, VAT. Okay. Let's go on and now I increase my shipping cost by 10%. So I cost shipping cost, I can use copy and paste here once again. I'll paste over here. Alternatively, I could uh, drag and drop once again and place it over here, the shipping cost. From here, shipping cost and change the expression, change the label first. This is my revised shipping cost. And I'll change the expression, revised shipping cost is 110%. Right, validate. This is correct. This is my revised shipping cost. Let's calculate revised total cost. So I place once again, I call this, this is my revised total cost. Total cost. And which in turn sum of my shipping cost. Shipping, revised shipping cost, operating processing cost and well, VAT. So I go to expression, you can click over here expression, you can right click and go to expression, which in turn consists of my uh, order processing cost, order processing cost, VAT and revised shipping cost. Right? This is my revised total cost. I would like to find out the variance. So variance between these two, total cost and total cost and revised total cost. So once again I drag and drop over here, change the expression, I call this variance and uh, I'll change the expression, right click, edit the expression between, difference between my revised shipping cost, so I revise total minus total cost. This is my variance. Let's test this up to, the, up to this point. Well, so I'll see the total cost, which is sum of these three. Uh, revised total, revised shipping cost, five percent increment in five zero four, four zero five, sorry, three four one, and revised total cost, which in turn sum of ship order processing cost west and revised shipping cost, and there's a variance. And finally, I find, I like to find out the variance percentage. So variance divided by total cost into hundred. Last activity, the variance. I name it as variance percent and I use over here right click edit. I want variance divide by uh, total cost in 200. Right, validate. That's it. No error. So now finally we finally will test it. Save it and test it. I see over here this is my my variance to the increase percentage. So this is how you can do all ad hoc analysis quickly in your report studio. Finally you got total cost, sum of these three, shipping cost, order processing cost, VAT, revised shipping cost, 10% I added in my shipping cost, added 10%, sorry 5%, device total cost, order processing cost, VAT, and device shipping cost, and variance, this is my variance, this is my variance percentage. That's it. This is a basic ad hoc, ad hoc analysis. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll show you more advanced analysis, advanced data analysis using Cognos. Also, we'll show you different ways of pre presenting your data using Cognos Report Studio.
Thanks for watching today's video. Should you have any training and consultant requirement, please visit to our site www.bsptrainings.com. Thank you and have a great day ahead.